Hi everyone. Um, I am going to introduce you to this system, which is called the Central Alert System. Uh, it's designed by Serene Innovations uh, in the United States. And uh, this system uh, specifically is uh, primarily, I should say, is built to help deaf and blind. Um, and these are the accessories um, associated with the system. Uh, this is a bedside alarm clock. Uh, that primarily connects most of the accessories. Um, in this illustration, I'll be showing you how the doorbell, this is the doorbell, how this operates. And uh, in another video, I will be showing you how to connect the smoke alarm sensor to the existing smoke alarm. So that's the best thing about central alert is you can use this smoke alarm sensor um, to be placed next to an existing smoke alarm. So you don't have to purchase a smoke alarm. Uh, you can use the existing ones and put this next to the smoke alarm sensor so the uh, vibration pager can activate. Uh, so this is the vibration pager, a, a client uh, or someone who is actually going to be using the system can wear. Um, and then uh, the wireless flasher. Um, wireless flasher is you can pretty much place anywhere it's very portable you can place it anywhere and also the bed shaker the bed shaker can be connected to the main central alert unit or it can be connected to the pager or it can be connected to the uh, flasher so this all can be done very easily I'm just going to jump on straight to it so I'm just going to start up straight with the alarm clock here. Uh, it is called the CA360Q. Uh, that's the model name. Uh, so this pretty much connects most of the accessories together, uh, which I will show you. To in order for this to operate, it will already come up, come with a uh, charger. Um, but I like using batteries because it's even more portable. Um, but uh, you would need a screw small screwdriver like this to open this up uh, and we only recommend using rechargeable batteries. Um, you can still um, keep the device charged through the charger as long as you have rechargeable batteries. If it is not rechargeable, if it is, it is, it is going to damage the system, so we don't recommend using non-rechargeable batteries, only rechargeable batteries like energizer batteries here. So you can see energizer recharge. Uh, you can buy these from uh, Woolies or JB Hi-Fi, um, etc. Or you don't even have to use the charger here. You can use the, in order to charge the battery, you can buy a device like this at the same time. Um, you can put the batteries in and then pretty much plug it into the power, uh, leave it until this light goes green. When it's charging, it will be red. Uh, otherwise, it'll go green once it's all charged and then you take the batteries out and then you pretty much put it straight in to the socket here. So I'm just going to put, take the take the screw out. Put the batteries in. So you pretty much open this up. And you put the batteries in. it up see the devices come on um, all right now I'm going to show you how to pair every accessories together. I'll show you how to connect the smoke alarm sensor in a different video like I mentioned. So at the moment I'm going to uh, connect the doorbell, the portable flasher receiver and the vibration page of the portable pager uh, into the main hub. Um, so everything activates all at once. So on the main hub you press and hold the SOS pair button until you get get to the learning option Learn. as you can hear you are in the learning option now now you press and hold the doorbell button 
until it is paired, which is about six to eight seconds. Press and hold. Doorbell is registered now. Doorbell is done. And now you press and hold the SOS button on top of the portable flasher. So you press and hold. Now you keep pressing it. And now that's registered. That's paired. And now you finally, the pager, what you would do is you press and hold the learn button here until it flashes as well and keep pressing it and that's registered now. Oh. Now we're going to test this one. So we're going to press the doorbell. You can see that flashing. Flashing as well. So in order to press, in order to stop any notification, you just need to press the reset button once. Uh, you can do that in this uh, portable flasher as well, or you can also reset it on the main pager as well, and everything will turn off. So once again, you press that, everything goes off, and you press the reset. Once you press the reset, you can see everything has turned off so you can press reset on any of these to turn the notification off also in order to check what was your last notification for example you went away um, somewhere and you just want to come back and check what notification was turned on uh, when you are away you just need to press and hold the reset button for two seconds on any of these devices and it will indicate what notification for example I'm gonna press the reset button for two seconds here Doorbell and ringing. It shows doorbell, and it also speaks out. Uh, for someone who is blind, they would know their doorbell rang when they were away. Same thing with this one. Press and hold the reset button, and it'll make the doorbell sound in, and flash over there, indicating it was a doorbell that um, indicating it was a doorbell that activated last. Same thing here. Um, which is you pretty much press and hold the reset button and it will show you when you press and hold the reset button on the pager as well it will show you what exactly activated um, uh, what was the last notification that was activated so this is the vibration pager from central alert um, this in fact is the most important accessory for someone especially who is deaf and blind uh, this is an important accessory to have uh, because this will help determine what notification has triggered um, there are two ways to find it first one uh, every notification has different vibration pattern uh, so you could learn uh, the vibration pattern and uh, know what's actually happening or uh, you will see every button has braille associated to it. Uh, so um, depending on uh, what activates, uh, what they will do, they could press and hold each button for about two or three seconds until you get a continuous vibration pattern. When you get that continuous vibration pattern, then you know that's what's triggered and then they could determine it through braille uh, what has triggered. or um, they could just number when you receive the pager, uh, they could just number um, each a notification so you can determine it by number as well. Um, so that's how you determine what has activated. Uh, uh, so this is the smoke alarm sensor which you will uh, pretty much place next to any existing smoke alarm. So you don't have to specifically buy a smoke alarm uh, for this system. You can use the existing one. So that will place, you can place this um, next to that smoke alarm in the ceiling using a double side tape. Um, so you pretty much turn this on. Um, so that's turned on now. Again, uh, going back into pairing mode, press and hold the pair button on the main unit or whichever unit you want to connect the sensor to. Press and hold. Once it's in the learning mode, you press and hold this green button on the smoke alarm sensor for about six to seven seconds until uh, it activates here.
so now this um, is paired with the main unit which means when a smoke alarm uh, makes noise uh, this sensor activates uh, triggering uh, the main hub uh, which means it will trigger all the uh, accessories associated with it.